good morning to all welcome to my channel chemistry made easy well myself dr rajeshri hv this is my third video on electromotive force that is chapter electromotive force in this uh, video i am going to i am going to discuss the topics representation of galvanic cell and the types of electrodes let us understand how to represent a galvanic cell so i have taken the voltaic cell or a galvanic cell as an example here now to construct any cell so what we require is the two half cells zinc dipten zns44 and copper dipten copper sulfate are the two half cells and both are connected using the salt bridge so let us know how to represent this symbolically remember the first rule is whenever we represent a galvanic cell or any type of cell we have to write anode on the left hand side and cathode on the right hand side that is anode is written first then followed by the cathode this is the first rule and the second rule is when we write anode metal is written first then followed by the electrolyte so well we know that metal uh, in case of anode metal is zinc and electrolyte is znso4 and both are separated that is metal and electrolyte are separated using the single vertical line or the semicolon then the third rule is in case of cathode electrolyte is written first then we have to write the metal that is reverse of anode and the both are separated electrolyte and the metal are separated using the single vertical line or the semicolon so this is the third rule now come to the fourth rule in case of fourth rule to represent the electrolyte so we can either use the complete formula of the compound that is zns44 is the electrolyte in case of anode you can use the complete formula zns44 or you can just use the ionic form zn2 plus and same in case of cathode also the electrolyte is copper sulfate use the complete formula or you can use the ionic form this is the fourth rule now come to the last rule the anode and cathode are separated using the double vertical line so this double vertical line represents the salt bridge now let us review the rules one, one by one and the first rule is on the left hand side anode is written and on the right hand side cathode is written so second one is anode is written by writing metal first and then the electrolyte and the two are separated by vertical line or semicolon then third one is cathode is written first by writing electrolyte and the metal thereafter and two are separated by vertical line or semicolon come to the fourth rule electrolyte may be represented either as a complete formula of the whole compound or ionic species now come to the last rule the two half cells anode and cathode are separated by double vertical line or the salt bridge so these are the rules to represent the galvanic cell so with this let us move to the next topic that is types of electrodes come to the first type that is metal metal ion electrode so example for this is zinc dipped in zns44 copper dipped in copper sulfate so these two have the metals that is zinc is metal in a solution containing its own ions that is zn2 plus and copper is dipped in a solution containing its own ions that is copper 2 plus therefore zinc bar zn2 plus copper bar cu2 plus are examples for metal metal ion electrode because an electrode of this type consists of metal dipped in a solution of its own ions zinc in contact with zn2 plus ions and copper is in contact with the copper 2 plus ions so let us move to the next uh, type the second type in case of second type it is metal metal salt ion electrode so for example for the common example for this is calomel electrode so in case of calomel electrode you can see the representation so we have the mercury that is bar mercurous chloride bar cl minus that is these electrodes consist of metal in contact with a sparingly soluble salt so mercurous chloride is sparingly soluble salt of the same metal that is mercury salt itself dipped in the solution containing anions of the salt now if you see the construction you can understand the meaning of this so you can see here in the inner tube this is the construction of the calomel electrode in the inner tube 
then it is mercury metal is kept and mercury is in contact with the uh, sparingly soluble salt of the same metal and then so we have uh, uh, these mercurous chloride mercurous chloride and dipped in the solution containing anions the solution present inside the calomel electrode is saturated kcl and the anion is cl minus saturated kcl produces cl minus anion now what is the anion produced by mercurous chloride that is also cl minus so this is how we construct the metal metal salt ion electrode that is in case of these electrodes consist of metal mercury is a metal in contact with sparingly soluble salt that is mercurous chloride of the same metal and dipped in the solution containing anions of the salt that is hcl solution is taken which is producing the anions of the salt that is mercurous chloride now come to the third type that is gas electrode hydrogen electrode is an example for gas electrode and hydrogen electrode is used as primary reference electrodes so why the name gas electrode is given because we are supplying so inside the hydrogen electrode so we have to uh, bubble the hydrogen gas about one atmospheric pressure so that is why the name is given as gas electrode so i'll explain the construction working and as well as the advantages of uh, the hydrogen electrode in the future videos so this is just an introduction so for a gas electrode hydrogen electrode is an example so it, it can either undergo uh, reduction it can accept electron either undergo oxidation so based on the electrode potential of the combining electrode and its reduction potential is zero exactly zero hydrogen electrode has a reduction potential zero now see the representation the representation is most important so whenever the types is asked you have to write represent that it has a platinum metal platinum and it is in contact with the hydrogen gas of one atmospheric pressure and with the uh, h plus ions bar h plus ions because inside this beaker we have taken the solution which contains h plus ions and its concentration is one molar and uh, platinum foil platinum foil is dipped and platinum foil is in contact with the uh, h plus ions and we have to supply the hydrogen gas of one atmospheric pressure inside the glass hood and uh, it may either undergo reduction and the oxidation now come to the fourth example the fourth example is uh, ion selective electrode uh, glass electrode is an example for ion selective electrode so this is how the glass electrode uh, looks and usually this electrode is uh, used to determine the ph so it is also known as a ph electrode so and we can more accurately measure the ph of the solution using this glass electrode so it is actually made up of a special type of glass called as corning glass corning glass is a combination of uh, sodium oxide calcium oxide and uh, silicon uh, oxide dioxide in a different proportion it is a conducting glass uh, the lower portion of the glass is most sensitive and uh, and this is selective it is selective only permeable only for some kind of ions it is permeable only for h plus ions and na plus ions and that is why the name is given as ion selective electrode it is selectively permeable only for some kind of ions so this is an example for ion selective electrode now the fifth example is amalgam electrode as the name indicates amalgam is prepared here so here in this example the silver is uh, mixed with a mercury so silver amalgam is prepared here uh, why the amalgam is prepared because some metals have more activity the activity of some metals will be more in order to reduce the activity of the metals right it is diluted with the mercury it is amalgamated with the mercury that's why the name is given as amalgam mercury so now you can see the representation here so it is a uh, metal ion in aqueous form in contact with the amalgam so you can see in the construction also a silver amalgam is in contact with the ag plus ions so it is a setup by placing the metal amalgams in contact with the solution of metal ion 
it is more convenient to use the highly reactive metals in the form of amalgams since the activity of metal is lowered by dilution with the mercury so let us come to the next type the sixth type is redox electrode in case of redox electrode the platinum metal will be in contact with the two ions with a different oxidation state we can see here platinum in contact with two ions fe2 plus and fe3 plus the same ions with different oxidation state so then we call such electrode as platinum electrode so this electrode is used in case of potassium metal titration as a working electrode uh, where the platinum acts like a inert metal the role of platinum is it acts like a postman so it will just accept the electrons and gives the electrons when platinum comes in contact with two ions with a different oxidation state so we call that electrode as redox electrode now so come to the examination cor corner so these are the possible questions that is asked in the examination uh, represent or write the cell representation for galvanic cell two marks question very important write symbolically the standard hydrogen electrode and calomel electrode you should know how to represent the different types of electrodes also the representation not the diagram the representation is required here then mention different types of electrodes with the example is a five marks question so i have described all the six types of electrode so you can give uh, six or five types of examples for this question along with the representation thank you <clears throat>